Hello, Team Kumar. As you guys know, I get quite a lot of products from brands to try, and I do use them for a long period of time. And after that, if I like them or if I dislike them a little bit too much, <laughs> I do a video about it. Um, I actually have two of these products that are sunscreen, and when I saw that they're sunscreen, I was really excited. If you guys don't know, India is burning up, up, up right now, and it's really crazy. It's very difficult. to find a good sunscreen when you apply them they become white and something you just like sweat it out it's really bad and uh, a lot of people ask me good sunscreen so i reviewed them i used them and i really like it so i thought i'll let you guys know about it so these are the spavik sunscreens this is the spavik uv protect aqua gel spf 30 uvb pa double plus for all skin types details for about 349 rupees 40 grams of product and this is the spavik uv cut silky milk spf 50 plus uvb pa 4 pluses retails for about 449 rupees for 40 ml spf 30 is a gel form it comes in a squeezy easy tube and is a non sticky formula very easy to apply you can um this is for all skin types so you don't have to worry about what sort of skin you have The consistency of this is extremely watery. When you put it on your hand, even if you put it like this, it will keep on like moving here and there. And if you go like this, it slides on your hand like butter slides on warm toast. And you can tell the amount of water and uh, the hydration in it because literally, I just created an M. Look at that. Yeah, you can dry it with the oh oh. It's extremely liquidy, but at the same time, it is a gel form. So very very white when you first see it, and then you can just try to blend it a little bit, and you can see the minute I start to blend it, it just blends into your skin, no difficulty at all. You know how in some sunscreens you feel like you're rubbing it too hard on your face and it's still not going into your skin. This you just rub it three times and it just. Oh, it it just goes in your skin. I have no idea how it does that, but the gel just gets soaked up, and all you're left with is a really nice hydrated um, skin. I cannot live without smelling something. So the scent of it is, it just smells like it's fresh. It doesn't really have. I can't really. It's just sweet, a little sweet and fresh. I don't think your nose will have a problem with this. Yeah, it's the same scent as the other skincare product. There's no. The good thing about this is that it just goes into your skin, and then after that, you don't really feel it. You can't see it. So after that, if you apply makeup, it's not visible, and it doesn't really feel like you have another layer of sunscreen on your face. The SPF 50 is a water-resistant formula, and it does not give you a sticky feeling on your face. This packaging is a very sturdy bottle packaging and it's tiny very easy to carry in your bag that's the first thing i noticed because i carry sunscreen a lot so i have to apply it again and i carry a very small bag the number one thing with this when you want to use it is you have to hold it like this it even says it in the back by the way in the instructions you have to hold it like this and you have to shake it really hard and then you take it out This is very liquidy guys. One drop on my hand and you can see this is just like milk. Can you see that? It's completely liquid. Although it it seems like it's going to be way more watery than the gel. This actually is a little thicker. It's not really thick. It's more like comparatively it's a little thicker to the gel. Uh and it this one again you can just blend it out and it's just so easy to blend out on your skin and I think 2 to 3 like strokes on your hand and this just goes in your skin just like the SPF 30 does. The good thing about these is that they just your skin just drinks these up, okay? Like you just apply a little bit, it's just going to go into your skin. I like the fact that both of them have different textures, but both of them are very light to apply. Both of them moisturize your skin while you have it on and I did not feel icky. I didn't feel like there was a film on my face and I didn't feel that there was something on my face and I did not want to claw my face off which is a great feeling. Uh gets absorbed really fast and doesn't leave any white cast behind. There's no smell as such apart from like 
a little pleasant smell it's not it's not like a bad smell i have an extremely sensitive nose so if a scent is okay with me i'm pretty sure it's okay with everybody i really like the fact that they are very affordable uh within 500 rupees and both of them are really good products whenever i buy expensive sunscreens what ends up happening is i just take like one tiny bit of it on my finger and i try to like apply it all throughout my face and then obviously i get it doesn't it, it doesn't have it's not that effective as it's supposed to because you're applies you're supposed to apply a little bit more that's why i love affordable sunscreens because i can actually save my skin and not just as a namesake this one absorbs within 30 seconds this one absorbs within 45 seconds and i feel like these are really good products pavic is a japanese brand by koze that's really famous in japan for different sort of skin care as well as makeup i feel like when japanese people make beauty or skin care products I just automatically have high expectations. So I was really happy that these worked out for me. Spavix sunscreens are new in the market. So if you guys want any information about these, I will try to find it and link it in the description box um so that you guys can read up on the ingredients or you know where exactly they're available and everything because I'm pretty sure if you guys want to buy it, you would want to read up more about them. Let me know in the comments box below if you have tried these products out and what you think about them. This becomes easier for somebody to make up their mind about a product because you guys also let them know in the comments box below and they can just read the comments and get a feel of, you know, how different skin types go with different products. So, if you have any other questions about these products, you can always ask me in the comments. And if you have any other further questions, you can always ask me on all of my social media. I'm everywhere. You can ask me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, Snapchat, everywhere. I'm everywhere. So all the details of my social media is also going to be in the description box below. That's it.